Hello, my name is Eugene Wade. I'm an art professor here at uh, Kennedy King College. I've been here about 18 years. I've been involved in doing a whole series of mural paintings. My concept of, of painting is, 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 is a reference to beautifying, uh, is a reference to having art that uh, people can relate to, not just having an abstract image, a non-objective image, in which uh, artists that get involved in that kind of black year is, is concerned about just self and selfish painting and the ego and whatever. Now, is it underappreciated? Is it overappreciated? I don't know. You would have to really ask the the people that, that you see every day, like students, like faculty members, like administration, uh, what would be their response in terms of it? If you look at the anatomy of the people so engrossed in, in, in the anatomy that they miss the whole message, which is a mother, usually a single parent that we have here, struggling with trying to bring the kid along to, a, to the daycare center so that the mother could then go on and continue her education, uh, move in the direction that she wants. So if you look at that picture, you have the kid who is turned in a whole different direction. The mother is focused straight ahead in terms of her goal and ambition, and that is to get her education, to make it better for herself and her child, and move towards, you know, the greater consciousness. The Martin Luther King uh, Kennedy concept was uh, that's what the school is. It's named uh, Kennedy King. That's Robert Kennedy and Martin Luther King. It's not John. A lot of students, a lot of people used to think that it was uh, John Kennedy. No, it's Bobby Kennedy who is the one that did uh, more for the civil rights movement and the whole struggle and, and pushing and encouraging his president, that is his brother, to make the necessary changes to bring about you know, what was needed in terms of humanity for all uh, mankind, not just one specific group. So uh, the other one, futuristic and that kind of a thing, I'm showing that perhaps into the future, uh, a classroom educational sitting, a study is not necessarily, uh, you know, a teacher at the desk and the student sitting in a chair writing and studying. I mean, the whole educational experience, computer, whatever, could be on the floor where it comes up down. It could be the sidewalk. And the student can get down on the floor in a very relaxed situation. Because most of the time when you're studying, really studying, you're going to get relaxed. You're going to recline. You're going to turn over. You're going to twist. You're gonna, but you're still learning. You don't have to sit upright in a chair listening. So I'm just figuring that um, in the futuristic concept, Perhaps the educational techniques would have changed, where students and teachers will be just opposed and they will be in a more relaxed learning situation where they would be uh, relating to each other on, on that kind of futuristic level. I think one of the greatest uh, desires a uh, uh, teacher can have is to, is to have the students involved in the whole creative experience where uh, they are not just dealing with the drawing and the watercolor and the, that on a, on a small scale, but they are, they are those students who can always rise to the occasion of doing something greater and bigger. Uh, and that would be the mural paintings that I uh, motivated some of them in terms of getting involved in doing. That were those students who were able to do that, wanted to do it. I worked with them close with doing it. And afterward, the whole achievement of an accomplishment that they felt was uh, tremendous. I've tried to be a human being in terms of what I've done. I try to relate to my students, you know, on that kind of level as a human being. And uh, I try to incorporate that in my artwork. Uh, what have I done? I've tried to beautify the, the school or wherever I've gotten uh, a commission to, to do mural paintings. I've tried to have artwork that was functional, educational, and that served the need of, of, of maybe motivating and stimulating somebody.